Robin Sherrill, if the Bears get their, their way, they'll continue playing here at Soldier Field until 2028 and then move next door to a brand new publicly owned stadium that could host year round events, including a Super Bowl. It is as envisioned ambitious and transformative, a lakefront mecca that the Bears say is worthy of a world class city. We have to decide who we are. Do we want to be a kind of middle, middle tier city or do we want to be a progressive, uh, advanced city? Bears president Kevin Warren on Waddle and Sylvie on ESPN Chicago, hours after the team publicly unveiled its plan for a new stadium with more than 70,000 seats beneath a fixed translucent roof. We are excited to invest in the greatest city in the world through a stadium project and site improvements that will benefit Chicagoans and visitors. It would sit just south of Soldier Field, which would be torn down minus the historic colonnades, the columns forming part of the sweeping campus that would feature parks, public areas, and youth athletic fields. The Bears would pay more than $2 billion, but are asking for about that same amount in federal, state, and local funding. This is going to reinvigorate the entire city of Chicago. It will be the crown jewel of the city of Chicago. The mayor says the project, which would be funded in part through a restructuring of the city's 2% hotel tax, would mean no new taxes or an increase in existing ones. But some are skeptical. Somebody's paying, you know, and, and who is it? And if it's public dollars, even though there's no new taxes, it's got to be taxpayers still somehow. And tonight, the group Friends of the Parks, which in the past has opposed other lakefront developments, says it too has questions, writing, we did not hear anything at the Bears news conference that could not take place at another Chicago location. The Bears still own the former Arlington Park property, but say this stadium project is what they're focused on. The mayor of Arlington Heights telling us he still thinks his suburb is the better option because the Bears would own that stadium. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.